Hi again, uh, Egg here. Um, yep, quite a few people have been asking in Talk Graphics recently um, how to use a flash swath file as a navigation bar in Zara Extreme or Web Designer created HTML pages. Um, I'm going to go through um, as quickly as I can because there's quite a lot to cover. Uh, I might have to spit this over two or three um, files, I'll see. Okay, um, so first and foremost, let's get rid of this header. Right, that's gone. This is the nav bar I've made. Um, I've only got two buttons on it at present. Um, it's it's quite a bit to do, and if you get more than try and show more than two buttons, you're just repeating yourself because you're doing the same thing with a one button does exactly the same as the next button as the next button as the next button so we just use two buttons okay so I've got a back bar here and I've got this button uh, about us button which would be uh, for the index HTML page and the products button which will be for a products dot htm page um, if I get htm and html mixed up uh, I apologize I use html usually but uh, Zara extreme and web designer uses htm so I do get a bit confused all right um, what have we got there now you've got um, you got these two buttons so what we got uh, let's have a look at the layers gallery because I've already um, created some of these things so I'll bring up the layers gallery here and here you've got the layers gallery um, so the animation frame because remember that this is a swap file we're making and this one here is called mouse off and it's got a stop command semicolon stop so mouse off semicolon stop um, then the next layer is virtually just a copy of the layer um, of that layer, layer I've just copied it and um, going back to this layer here on the mouse off button you've got just let me bring up the links um, a mouse over link on that button on that about us button and it says when the mouse is over jump to frame mouse over about one semicolon go to mouse over about two and I'll explain that a bit more in a, in a minute why I shouldn't really have used such long names but I was trying to make it easier than possible okie doke so then this button here has got a similar on mouse over event but it actually sends it down to mouse over products down here this time okay and then sends it down to there now um, let me just get rid of that a minute there wouldn't be a lot of uh, point in actually just making that mouse over and when it goes over sending it over to this next layer and it's dormant because I presume because you want uh, uh, an animation you want the buttons to animate not just to uh, just have a mouse over effect that you could already do so that's what we got and the animation is caused there uh, by when you push this button uh, mouse over this button it goes there and the go to command tells it to go to this next frame go to about two that goes to that next frame there and I don't know if you saw that if I just flick between the two just one two one two it, 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 it just goes into that endless loop while the mouse is there and all I've done is just change the linear fill slightly there and just move the text up and down so we're going backwards forwards backwards forwards and that's what that does all the time um, similarly on this um, the products button if you push the products button that will go send it down to here and the products button will make it left jump left right and center uh, I'm nearly out of time now so I'll stop this one see you in a minute 